Hello everyone, this is Mubarak Ali Khan from GSL Pakistan. I hope you're enjoying good health. Respected listeners, with me I have Mr. Mubeen. Mubeen, yeah. And uh, he had been preparing his eyes at GSL IE branch and uh, he is appearing in a test three to four days from now. So let's see how much has he prepared. And those of you who are watching us, you may want to give your uh, uh, reviews or comments on his talk as well as uh, if you want to comment on me, I don't mind. So let's see how can we make this thing happen as a dummy mock of real imitation of IELTS speaking. So, Mubin, I would like to know a little about you. Talk about yourself and please highlight your professional background. My name is Mubin Hassan. I have a civil engineering background because uh, I have completed my bachelor's in civil engineering. Okay. Uh, but recently I have completed my master's degree from Nast University, Nast mm -hmm. Islamabad. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, currently, I am doing a job here in I8 Marcus in a design consultant. Okay. So, it's been how long that you're working? Uh, I have been working here for like uh, one year and eight months. Okay, great. So, where do you live now? So, I live near Nasta because recently I completed my master's degree. So, I was living there due to my education. And since then, I haven't uh, found... Uh, time to relocate okay. so therefore uh, currently I am living there. Fine, so who do you live with? We are for five friends so, so we have rented an uh, uh, apartment there and we live together like friends. Okay, so what kind of place do you live in? Is it a house or apartment or why are you exactly living there? This is a house and it's a uh, upper portion, uh, First, it's, it's a uh, first floor. Uh, there are uh, six uh, rooms, uh, there are three rooms and three attached bathrooms. And we are six people currently living there. So we share uh, the room. Uh, in every room, there are two persons. Okay, fine. So describe your neighborhood. My neighborhood, mostly the people living there are families. And we are the only ones who are living in that building as bachelors. Okay. So do you like it? Why or why not? I basically like it because it is on a walking distance from my university so I used to go there on a daily basis so that location suited me so I put, um, we rented was so we uh, friends rented that house because of its uh, closeness to our university okay so how do people choose their place to live what do you think what is the mechanism behind that as a, you know, as a grown up basically uh, when I was uh, in my t early 20s I didn't think ab about it too much but uh, now, as an um, uh, I have, I am 27 years old, and um, my preferences change with the age. So I do like a quieter environment. I do like uh, privacy. I do like people who are uh, you, you know, you, you are familiar with. So can we can talk? We can uh, have relaxation time, and we mm -hmm. cannot uh, get irritated from one another and their habits. All right, got so, your point. Yes, thank you. Great. So moving on towards part two now, which says describe a gift you have received. That was important to you. I'm giving uh, you a minute to think. You can make your plan if you want to, and you will speak on that for the next two minutes. I'll give it to you. And for what, uh, you may want to make your notes if you want to. You have what, complete one minute to plan. What it looks you can like. Use this. Wallet. Are you good to start? Yes, sir. All right. Please move on to part two now. Start speaking. The gift I received recently from my uh, from one of my closest friends. His name is Asha. Uh, we used to study in masters in NAST, and uh, we were uh, uh, at start we were not uh, uh, that much good friends, you can say. But when the thesis work started, so we became friends due to research purposes. Oh. So he is a good, good friend of mine. He gifted me a wallet when he uh, gave his defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I basically appeared in my defense presentation six months before him. Mm -hmm. So he completed his degree after me six months later. So when we were together in that defense, so after that defense, I gifted him something and he gifted me a wallet. And this is a leather wallet. And uh, I liked it uh, because uh, it's uh, mostly I like uh, that much color. It's a uh, dark grayish color. So I liked it. 
and uh, it has uh, you can say you can, it serves the purposes for me and uh, you know it, it is uh, our daily use thing which we use every day okay we basically have uh, cards uh, i basically put some cards in it uh, my atm my uh, pc card my registration card my nas university card my um, and uh, cash obviously mm-hmm. fine thank you very much moving on towards part 3 now do you enjoy giving and receiving gifts why or why not i do not prefer giving or receiving gifts but uh, i people give them so in respect of their uh, love i accept them and I'll, i also try to uh, give them uh, the presents or the gifts just to match their affection and love but basically i don't uh, be uh, don't believe in giving gifts okay so who usually gives you gifts they are male friends of mine and uh, uh, recently on this eid uh, i was gifted a shoe from one of my friends okay uh, and things like that if they give me a gift so i have to return back i return something back as a gift so what do you them. return the same gift back no, or no 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 a different thing a different okay thing. right right like a watch like uh, something else fine so in your country when do people usually give gifts we have so many occasions where people gift uh, each other and these uh, occasions include eid gifts uh, you oh. can say uh, wedding gifts uh, uh, we have this salami tradition in our country that okay. is also that is uh, uh, first of all that is money but that is also counted as a gift right or oh, people uh, uh, gift sceneries to one another i know a friend who gifted uh, sceneries uh, and uh, like calligraphy work okay. to one of his friends Mm-hmm. so these are the different things people give on uh, different occasions uh, we have birthday celebrated there where people gift each other mm-hmm. so these are some kind of okay my events. last question from you do you think gift giving customs are different now than they were in the past how yes they are different from the past everything changes with the time mm-hmm. the time changes most of our uh, ways we live okay. most of the things we do and uh, because we have to uh, uh, we have to live with new customs new uh, uh, concepts and yeah. new you can say new ideas fine so in my time people used to give uh, um, coins as a gifts okay uh, in my time they used to give pictures as a gifts and they used to frame them and they used to give them as a gifts okay so another way was to give you know that uh, uh, artificial money uh hearts you can say necklaces the like okay. mm-hmm. they were as a gift mm-hmm. but these days these things are not uh, trending and uh, most of the people try to give uh, watches they give pens they give uh, um you can say shoes they can right. say wallets and everything like that fine i got my one idea. of my friend get an mm-hmm. i the iphone x max from a friend who lives abroad Glad that's also a that. gift fine then thank you very much for being for your time this is the end of your spoken test now i would like to give my feedback to you yes sir uh, before i give that what do you think how was it i think it was better All from right. my last uh, attempt oh, fine okay okay and what are your band requirements my requirement is 7 uh, fine good okay so as far as i am concerned overall i'm happy with it i remember once you uh, were in a discussion with me once you joined us yes, i i remember that time so it is better than that no doubt yes, about sir. it but there are a few constraints which are still supposed to be eradicated uh basically i found you quite genuine while you talk which is not something very good okay the thing is that you try recalling everything and you yes. want to speak so what happens actually sometimes you speak the way you had to and sometimes you speak the way you you should not have spoken okay for example you talked about your room that we have six rooms no 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 we have three rooms there are six people the one who's listening to you is less, least interested in the People statistics the okay uh, or 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 whatsoever is going on there they're more convinced and inter- interested in the part then you took me someone who knows the place already this is not a good approach as well for example your life revolved around nest i am here at i8 i live near to nest so there are two modes of speaking okay first uh, one is in person and next, next is video conference i don't know which mode you have chosen but on the go sometimes they change it okay so if it is a video conferencing so there are 99% chances that you would have some foreigner with you 
He doesn't know what is I-8. He doesn't know what is NUST. Okay. And then you mentioned that after the defense. Now, defense can be a very serious thing. Now, with Pakistanis, we are more into that defense. We know, okay, that is a thesis defense. But defense can be anything, defending the country perhaps. Yes, yes. So you think that the next person knows, which is not a good idea. That okay. is supposed to be changed as well. Okay. For example, you may mention that, okay, it was a dissertation defense. A thesis defense. A thesis defense. Such kind of clarity should be there. Um, then you said we live, in, we live on a proportion, which is a portion. Yes. So you mentioned proportion. No, upper portion. Upper portion. <laughs> I, I listened it as proportion. No, upper portion. Uh, fine. And then uh, I didn't find any that particular vocabulary item which you have intentionally used to impress the examiner. Okay. It was all words. regular conversation. Very regular. I was saying uh, gifts. You were saying gifts. You didn't say presents. You didn't say I mentioned once or twice presents. But I guess... Uh, uh, that vocabulary scale is still quite down. Okay, okay. I didn't find any uncommon adjectives to describe. I mentioned that describe your uh, uh, place where you live. Okay. You mentioned very straightforward one or two phrases where there is no description. Okay. It is just narration. You just mentioned, okay, gee, that's how it okay, is. Okay. That is supposed to be taken care of. Uh, your part two was an abrupt start. I got a gift after my dissertation. A good start is is mandatory. For example, if you later on go for inquiry on result or something, someone who's listening to you at the back should know, okay, what was the topic exactly. Okay. Because the examiner is someone else and the inquiry on result one is maybe different one. Okay. So announcing a topic is a good idea. Okay. But I'm delighted to talk about a gift I got and everyone likes the gift getting. Okay. And in my case, okay. I this is, this gift so that was something you skipped. And most of the answers were started with yes. Yes, oh uh, yes, oh yes. So that is supposed to be changed as well. Okay. well. It's an interesting one. I would like to respond to it in a way. Okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I believe this one is not my cup of tea. I'm not very good at traveling, okay. etc. Okay. So you give a variety of your taste and sense that was lacking. Based upon all this, I found no idiom, no single idiom. It is supposed to be used, you know, in the sheet which is given. Okay. There is one particular thing, idioms and, and collocations. So I didn't find any. That is supposed to be taken care of. Fluency was there, but there was no intonation. It was all same level pitch throughout. Okay. So back in 2001, when I was a kid, change the rise voice, and fall, the, the rise voice. and fall, that was missing. Okay. So uh, just to mention all this, if you would do like that over there, you will not be able to get a band more than 6.5. Okay. It would be between 6 to 6.5. Okay. Okay. Anything you want to say? No, sir. Well, that's all for the day. Thank you very much for watching us. And if you are preparing for IELTS, we are available in IIT Merkaz, Islamabad. And such rigorous activities we do over here. If you just want to come here for mocks, you're most welcome. You can dial our contact. That is 051 or 0331. Both available. 8731234. God bless Pakistan. Bye-bye.